Hello, and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. This week I am doing some more practice pieces with my Inktense pencils. Today you are going to see a semi-realistic, whimsical butterfly illustration, and on Thursday you'll see me doing some interesting background work I on a piece that I intended to be just a regular illustration, but then I got playing with the background so much I just left the actual subject blank. So. That's coming on Thursday. Today I am doing a butterfly. And yeah, ink tents, full 72 set. And actually, uh, they are rolling around that much in there because I also originally had just this 12 set. I got this at Walmart uh, for really cheap because the a lot of the Walmart stores here in Newfoundland just recently converted over to super centers. And they, when they were, getting ready for that renovation. They were selling off a lot of stock just to make room and this is one of the things that they were selling off. I think they do still carry ink tents. I don't know why they were selling off a 12 set, but they were. It was really cheap. I've tried it. I loved it. Now I own the 72 and uh, it sounds like they're rolling around because they are. I took the flimsy little trays out. Flimsy little trays. This is how Derwent saves their money. Anyway, today's video is going to be the longer of the two, so I'm not going to ramble the whole time. Let's go ahead and watch the art right now, and I'll be back to say goodbye right before the end card. You know, it's really weird to do these voiceovers now and not say welcome back, because according to what you're seeing, the way I've strung it all together, I already said that. <laughs> I'm actually doing my voiceovers before my intros, so I apologize if I'm repeating myself, because I don't know that yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're planning to go up to the cabin for the weekend, we don't know when exactly we're coming back, so I'm trying to get the next couple of videos recorded and uploaded, scheduled ahead of time, and I don't really know what I should be talking about, because I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my near future timeline right now. Anyway, I am doing more practice with my Inktense pencils. These are very quickly becoming one of my favorite materials to use. And as you can see in frame at the top there, I do have the full 72 set. The trays, the plastic trays aren't in there because I tossed in my original 12 set as well. And they're just, they're really flimsy trays. I love Derwent, I love the fact that they come in this metal tin. But their plastic trays are just so flimsy. <laughs> they, they, they really, they're saving on materials there, let's just say that. <laughs> anyway. For this piece, I really wanted to practice textures and gradients and maybe see how much detail, how much of an impression I could make in a painting with a limited color palette. So I I wasn't necessarily practicing my drawing skills here, I was practicing my painting skills. So I completely admit I did go through my older sketches and I reused some elements that I have used in videos here before. Actually both the butterfly and the daisy are from the Friends of the Family You Choose uh, collage piece with Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. They're both from that. Both of these elements are, and I combined them in a new way, kind of whimsical, so that I could practice painting. And I really, I love how this came out. I kind of want to do more exactly like this. The combination of flowers and butterflies, or maybe similar things in a slightly unique way. <laughs> I think it turned out really, really well. I say that a lot, don't I? <laughs> yeah. It's true, though. I think it turned out really well. <laughs> I did end up using some dry pencil techniques at the end for details in the daisy, but I really like using these activated, the way they're advertised and intended to be used. You'll notice that I'm using a mixture of the water brush 
paintbrush and a standard paintbrush. I find I can work very quickly with the water brush because it does stay wet, but it's much easier to get really dark pigments and really finer control really with the standard paintbrush because you aren't accidentally introducing more water than you intended with it. But then of course, since the water brush pen is providing its own water to the brush, you can just rub that thing on the end of the pencil as much as you need and pick up as much pigment as you need. Yeah, it's it works too. I, I definitely prefer to work with a combination. I know a lot of artists who do watercolor and similar media. They'll go out traveling or just go out in the backyard sketching or whatever, and they'll only bring these water brush pens because then you don't need to bring water with you. But I just, I can't do that. I, I love these water brush pens for sure, but I've got to have my traditional brushes too. There are things that I prefer to do with each type of brush. Are you like that? Have you tried both types of brushes? And do you find that there are some things that work better with one or the other? Comment down below, and uh, also comment down below if you've used ink tents before. Do you love them? Do you just like them? Do you hate them? I'd love to hear what you think of them and why. And I'd love to hear if you think that there are other tips or tricks or techniques that maybe I haven't heard of yet that I should try. I'd love to hear your suggestions of what else you think would turn out really well as a subject for a painting with ink tents. Because, like, I love these and I'm probably going to be doing a lot of work with them in the near future because these are my obsession at the moment. It surprises me because I got my polychromos so recently and I love them too. And, like, nothing's going to change my love for the polychromos pencils, but that's your dry material colored pencils. These are just the best of pencil and watercolor and ink. <laughs> Maybe not the best of all three, but there, there's nothing quite like an ink tense pencil, and I love them, and I want all of the other ink tense materials out there. Well, I have the, the 12 pan set. I want them to make more, <laughs> and I want to try the blocks to go with them. Yeah, love them. They're great. If you haven't tried them, you really should. The 12 set is not that expensive, and you can find it just about anywhere. I picked mine up at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. If you're new here, please do hit subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. I really do appreciate everybody who decides to join the family and uh, come back for more art and adventures. And if you like this video and you haven't commented already, I don't know, comment whatever you feel like. Somebody was talking about fish tacos last week and it was hilarious and completely unrelated. But you know what? It's interaction with a small channel, so I really, really do appreciate that. Interaction with videos on small channels, especially when you do it within the first 48 hours of the video going live, it really helps to kind of boost us with the YouTube algorithm. Maybe encourage YouTube to suggest our video a little bit more, maybe put it in front of some new eyes. And you know, I, I am getting more subscribers. We hit 250 right at the end of January. We're in the second week of February now, and it's looking like we're going to be at 260. We're not quite there as I'm recording this. We probably will be by the time this goes out. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> so this, this channel is steadily growing, and I really do appreciate it. But anyway, I'm only about halfway through the art portion, and I don't have all that much to say, so I'm going to end the voice over here, let the music take it, and I'll see you in the end card.
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Here it is, my little whimsical butterfly daisy illustration. I just, I love how this turned out, and yes, I did, as I said, recycle the butterfly drawing and even the daisy from this piece. It, yes, it's the same butterfly. Uh, it's, I, I, not stealing anything. It's my own art from my own sketchbook. I just, I'm practicing techniques with the pencils. I'm not practicing my drawing, so why not reuse the same thing? A lot of artists do that. They'll reuse little elements in their bigger pieces. Anyway, full disclaimer, my art, but yes, repeat of this. <laughs> just trying out a new medium and I love it. Anyway, end card time, and I'll see you on Thursday. You made it to the end of the video! Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe and ring that bell. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, and I feature artists and crafters in my end card. Use the hashtag LookJennaYT. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys!